Wondering why there's a business card taped upside down sticking off the edge of my Samsung Conquer 4G for Sprint box? She doesn't know, but I do. Find out after the break. What's going on everybody? I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo and this is the Sprint Samsung Conquer 4G. A sub one hundred sub one hundred dollar Android phone with uh, features that not so long ago would have been top of the line: dual cameras, four uh, G speeds, Android two point three gingerbread. A lot going on on this phone. One gigahertz processor, Qualcomm Snapdragon. A lot going on. The upside down business card. It's courtesy of uh, my friend at Sprint PR who loaned us the Conquer four G for this unboxing and the subsequent review. I wanted to keep the uh, card here so we'd know whose property the phone was. Want to turn it upside down so as not to expose either her personal information or her lousy taste in college sports teams. Now I'm just giving you a hard time. You know who you are if you're watching, and I love you. Really though, you're you're. I understand it's your alma mater and stuff, but kind of really those guys. Nah, not this season. Conquer 4G from Sprint, Samsung, $99 on launch. $99 through Sprint with a two-year contract. Launches uh, August 21st. Or it's launched already, but available August 21st. And um, again, you know, the whole idea that, that the commodification of high-end phones and what Android has done, just competition and everything. Uh, I mean, amazing. A 4G phone with dual cameras for 100 bucks on contract. And again, you know, I say this all the time. It's not the uh, upfront price that gets you. It's those monthly fees. But still, um, great to see the, uh, you know, high-end features at low-end prices. The battery's not in here yet. In the box, you get the phone itself. You get all these goodies from Sprint and Samsung and all that stuff. You better get a recycling envelope. You do. Please recycle your old phones, all your old electronics. Dispose of them properly. Don't throw them in the garbage. Don't throw them in the landfill. Either give them to somebody else who can use them, resell them, trade them in, um, or recycle them uh, properly. But don't just throw them in the landfill. I guess the battery must be in the phone already. Hopefully there's some juice in it. You also get your uh, micro USB to USB cable and then your USB based modular adapter for charging. And then a micro SD card is inserted in the handset. Here's your micro SD adapter. Make it a little easier to manage your media files. Looks like we don't have... Oh yeah, there we go. Turn on now. It's a very lightweight device. Uh, 4.1 ounces officially. Feels very light in the hand. It's a 3.5 inch display. You can see the SPH D600 from Samsung Mobile. Still waiting on those Galaxy S2s to hit the US end of this month, August 29th. Big event in New York City. I believe we'll be there. Techno Buffalo will be covering it live so far as I know. Stay tuned for that. Also, stay tuned over on Techno Buffalo. Back to school giveaways. Uh, shooting this on Monday, August 15th. We started a bunch of back-to-school content today. We have a bunch of giveaways lined up uh, for the next four weeks. Very excited about some really cool stuff we're giving away. So check that out for sure. Free to enter. Uh, free to win, but you have to get lucky. Anyway, the phone itself, it's got a 3.5-inch screen, 320 by 480. Um, you've got a 1 gigahertz processor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon, Android 2.3, 2.3 gingerbread. Uh, it's 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi. You've got on the front a 1.3 megapixel camera for video calls, other good stuff. On the back, 3.2 megapixel camera with LED flash and video recording. Uh, you've got a micro SD card slot with a 2 gigabyte, two gigabyte card, free installed, pre installed. Sorry, I got distracted by free vo visual voicemail trial. Uh, 2 gigabyte, gigabyte card installed, 32 gigs of memory it supports. Tell you what, I'm having trouble with certain syllables. Gigabyte, Android, Gigabyte, Android, I can do it. 1500 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the phone itself, you've got your touch screen. Like I said, the uh, front facing camera on the bottom, four hard buttons. Not capacitive touch buttons on these, but hard buttons. Which, uh, for as cool as capacitive touch buttons are, the hard buttons uh, a little safer. You don't accidentally pocket dial or, you know, pocket press on them, um, which some people prefer. Uh, you've got the Sprint ID logo down there. This phone supports Sprint ID. Um, supports is one word for it, I suppose. Uh, on the side, this uh, faux chrome banding here, the black and silver motif. You've got one shortcut button. Taking me to the camera. I would think so, yes. There's the camera. Take a picture, it lasts longer. Let's go front camera. Can we go front camera? There I am. Hi everybody, my name is Noah. I'm a professional technology reviewer. Uh, so there's your front-facing camera. 
On the other side, you've got your rocker switch for volume and such things, 3.5mm headphone jack, your lock power switch on the bottom, your micro USB port is on the bottom, your microphone sensor, and uh, there you go. Uh, really, really lightweight. This thing would just slide right into your pocket. Got it. You know, it's not the most luxurious feeling phone, and apparently the, the, um, the touch screen is very sensitive. But, uh, you know, a little grippy plastic on the back, a little textured. You know, it feels like a commodity, but like a high-end commodity, if that makes any sense. Not the luxurious feel, but, you know, for a commodified, kind of mid-range, low-price phone, uh, it doesn't feel too bad. Let's see. Special applications, a.k.a. bloatware. Um, not, you've got the Sprint ID stuff, Sprint Hotspot. You can use this as a uh, hotspot device. Sprint Mobile Wallet. Uh, let's go quickly... For some reason I'm only in 3G's coverage here, and I believe I have 4G. Last time I tried to use a phone in this very location, I had 4G. Let's turn that on, please. Turn around, bright. Eyes. So the big news this week, uh, it's only Monday, big news so far. Google buying Motorola Mobility. Uh, the device, the uh, deal has to be approved, and there may be an antitrust inquiry and all that kind of stuff. But Google buying uh, Motorola, the very inter Motorola Mobility, the uh, Motorola spun itself off into two divisions a while back, around the first of the year, I believe. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see um, what happens with Android and partners like Samsung. Uh, Google has said that Android is going to remain open, but you would have to think that they would give first priority to the company that they own, right? That, you know, they would have to give the nod to Motorola over Samsung and HTC and um, Sony Ericsson and everybody else when it comes to everything from updates to, you know, preference helping them write drivers for their phones to maybe even the Nexus line. So, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. We've got Swipe pre-installed here. Go to the voice search. No. Uh, sure, why not? Really, what I want to do though is I want to. Yep. Techno Buffalo. All right, all right, all right. And there's the post for the back to school giveaways. Hype these too hard, but you know. Accelerometer, kick into action. There you go. It's an Android phone, but it's got gingerbread, it's got 4G, it's got dual cameras, and it's 99 bucks uh, on contract through Sprint when it launches. So I'd imagine through some of the other third party re retailers online, you'll see it even cheaper. Good stuff. From Sprint and Samsung, the Conquer 4G, if you're in the market for a phone with, you know, big specs, but you don't necessarily need dual core or Gorilla Glass, or, you know, aluminum carbonate polymagnesium unishell body construction 5000. You want a phone that's uh, relatively inexpensive, but big on features. Conquer 4G will have much, much more on this device, including a review, and all the new devices, including the uh, Expert, the Sprint Expert from Motorola, just unboxed a little while ago, and of course, whatever happens with the whole Motorola-Google deal. All that stuff, things are heating up. It's mid-August. It's exactly mid-August right now. Happy birthday to all you Leos. From here on out, kids, it's going to get, uh, the summer's just going to heat up as we get closer to Labor Day and then on into the fall and early winter season as far as new products are concerned. So enjoy these uh, last couple weeks of summer and then buckle up. It's going to be a crazy ride. And we got you covered on Techno Buffalo. Until next time, my name's Noah. Thank you for watching. 